Drivers in Texas know traffic. A Clean Air Coalition study showed the average commute in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is about 10 miles each way, twice a day, five days a week, 50 weeks a year. That's 4,800 miles of road time, and the trip means sitting in traffic for hours. So what will the next decade bring? State leaders say they have a huge problem to solve by the year 2020. NBC5's Ken Kaltoff has a look at some of the solutions lawmakers have discussed, including taxing Texans by the mile and other ways to get the roads straightened out. Under the dash of every car built since 1999 is a little computer port that can access all sorts of information. Progressive Insurance has begun offering customers a device that records that data for pay-as-you-go rates where safe drivers can save money. Mileage does have a lot to do with it. The lower the miles are, the less exposure that Progressive has, so therefore they're willing to give you a discount on your rates. The state has begun investigating whether it might also be a way to tax drivers for how much they drive. I'm not yet ready to embrace that technology, though it is a technology we may have to look at. Texas has an estimated $100 billion worth of unfunded transportation needs, like reconstructing the jammed up Dallas Mixmaster. The roads need to be fixed. Yeah, I need better roads. Yeah, sure is. And the money simply does not exist. And if people are being honest with constituents, they come out and just tell them that. We don't have the money in Austin, and there isn't enough ability locally to raise this money to be able to solve these problems. The 20 cent gas tax approved 19 years ago no longer covers Texas transportation costs. State Senator John Corona says Texas has resorted to too many toll roads, which cost more in the long run. It's not a good public policy. I, I would argue that continued advancement toward more and more toll roads is bad for Texans. Another pay-as-you-drive plan might have you record your mileage at the pump, already required for gassing up some private company cars. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. All of these ideas amount to the same thing, finding new ways to get more money out of your pocket to pay for the roads we need. The state senator says just raising the gas tax 10 cents a gallon could pay for all the unfunded road problems in Texas, but that's unpopular too. Yeah, paying enough taxes and it's not good. We are substantially behind the times in dealing with this. We're going to face substantially greater congestion and air quality issues. Pay with a mileage meter at the pump or the toll booth. Experts say Texans will have to pay more or just accept sitting in traffic. Ken Kaltoff, NBC5, Dallas. One way or another, it's coming out of your pocket. Time and money. Both the Michaels and